Well, data science is a new buzzword in the market. Our technology sector keep on growing and evolving with the time. Now it's an era for data science and artificial intelligence. Almost every tech giant companies are working on data science and hiring the data scientists and ML engineers in a bulk. So let's start from the beginning. What is data science and why it is so much in demand in the IT industry? Well, uh, you already know nowadays everyone is online. Either they are using some online app in their mobile or they are accessing some sites like Google, Amazon, Instagram, etc. So as these millions of people are spending so much time in the internet, they also provide a lot of information to these internet based sites or internet based companies like Google, Amazon and Microsoft. If you have some tools or technology which can gain insight about this huge data of millions of customers and then based on that data, it makes some good decisions. This technology, we call it data science. Basically, it's a science which involves the data. When the companies have a huge data of the customers, they can apply data science technology and do a lot of computations, a lot of decisions they can do on their business. So you might have heard this term from the various entrepreneurs like now data is the new currency, right? So the person who can manage and use this data efficiently, these people we call it as a data scientist and ML engineers. So you as a data scientist in a company need to do the collections of the data, then structuring that data, then analysis of the data. Now based on that analysis, you need to interpret the pattern and the trends of the business. Like data scientist uses various tools and techniques like statist statistics, programming, machine learning to extract the valuable information from the data and solve the real world problems. So your daily work as a data scientist in a company is data collections, data cleaning, data analysis, then the modeling of the data and then deployment of that model, model deployment. So what are these terms? If you understand these terms, then you will be get a fair idea about the data science as a stream. First is data collection. As it clear from its name, you need to do the collections of the data like customer data that customer give while opening a lot of websites, you know, like customers to give the email ID, mobile number, name, etc. when they open a lot of websites. So we call this data as a structured data. Similarly, you have unstructured data like the huge files of the customers, log files. Then you have video, audio pictures that the user upload in the social media. So all this comes under the structured, unstructured data. So you have structured data, you have unstructured data. So your first responsibility is to collect this huge structured and unstructured data. Now you collect this data. Let's do some cleaning of this huge data that we collected and we call this process as a data cleaning process. So in the data cleaning process, it's the process of identifying and fixing the incorrect, incomplete or irrelevant data. Some there are a lot of data are there. It's a huge data, right? So there are so many incorrections are there. So many incomplete statements are there. So all these incorrect, incomplete and irrelevant data in a data sheet, we need to find out that and that we do that in the data cleaning process, like identifying and eliminating the duplicate entries. So why this step is important because the data is not consistent during the collection process and it is not even accurate. So there may be the possibility in the future steps, we may do the wrong prediction based on that. That is the way the data cleaning is one of the most important steps. So a lot of libraries are used in Python like Panda, NumPy, and we use these libraries to do the process of data cleaning. Similarly, the next step after the data cleaning is data analysis. And we call this process as a EDA process, exploratory data analysis. In this process, we start identifying the pattern. There are some patterns are there in the data patterns, trends, what are the relationship with the data. So we do data visualization by creating a lot of charts, plots to visually explore the data patterns and the distribution of this huge data sets. So from this research of data, we are identifying various patterns by analyzing, let's say in a lot of business, you have sales trends, where the sales are going, how the customer behavior is there any kind of financial performance of the company, similarly social media engagement. So all this process we do in the EDA process, the data analysis process. After the data analysis is done, time to create the model based on data sets. So basically we have collected that data. Then after that we did the data cleaning. Then we have done the data analysis process. Now it's time to create the model based on that. And we call this process as a data modeling. So in the data modeling steps, you are providing the visual representation of data sets. Basically, this data analysis steps as well as the data modeling step is almost same. Like uh, when you have created the model is ready with the data sets, then you can do a lot of data analysis on top of that and make some decisions. So a lot of machine learning algorithm is used in this data modeling process. Different types of ML algorithm as well as techniques have been developed actually, which can easily identify the complex pattern in the data and build the various types of model. In fact, this is one of the most complex part of data science. After the data modeling is done, 
then after that time to deploy this model so we call this process as a model deployment so we deploy whatever the model we have developed after deploy then we start monitoring its performance so these model we see the results and then based on that result we do the prediction so this prediction process happens in the model deployment so we are also doing a lot of we collect the feedbacks and use the new data set also so that we are continuously improving our model so this is the complete five process comes under the data science once you have a good understanding and the practical implementation of these five steps you can apply for the data scientist roles in the various organization